What's going on, everyone? So this is my second effort at documenting my journey transitioning into cybersecurity. So I'm getting more, uh, well, let's say I've had some more feedback and it's really interesting just navigating my way in there. I'm in the end of our internship, right? We just completed our capstone presentation project yesterday and that was where we had six minutes to present what we did during our internship and apparently the feedback i got was that i regurgitated about 15 minutes of industry information so um i feel like i kind of blew it like i kind of blew my load you know uh you know so i learned a valuable lesson not to cast all your knowledge out there but to leave the audience or know your audience and then leave them wanting more, right? So uh, it's a hard learned lesson. And, you know, at the end of the internship, you know, I, I don't think that it's going to develop into a full-time position. And it's perfectly cool because nobody at the organization promised me a full-time position. So I just want to make that clear. I know I took this internship for the experience and uh, it was cool that it was a paid uh chance to get some experience so you know it was great working in the environment i sold myself a dream you know and i, I really had to because i i'm am a strong believer in being able to accomplish anything you set your mind to doing and that doesn't mean forcing square pegs in the round holes you know uh but at the same time uh i have other sayings that go through my head such as uh you know faith without works is dead and if you believe in something, you put in the work. I believe in putting blisters on your hands and leaving blood in the game on everything that I do. I learned, I believe in getting it from the bottom. So by the time I'm at the top, I don't have a weak foundation. Or I know what's going on down there. So that's in building a skill set. That's in uh, developing a career, a business, uh, your personal life everything got to have that strong foundation so you know i'm i'm just taking the moment to you know i just had this whole realization that the best thing i could take from this experience was the ability to uh apply a lot of knowledge that i have obtained from my classwork at wgu um the certifications that i've obtained you know, I got my Security Plus, the AWS ASA, Associate Solutions Architect, uh, the A Plus, the, yeah, both of the A Pluses. And I just need, I'm working on the Network Plus right now. So I'm getting really close to achieving the Network Plus. And so, yeah, you don't get hired because you have certifications or because you have a degree. You get hired because you have the skills and the ability to. Uh, solve a business need, right? So uh, the whole point is that, you know, no one promised me a full-time position at the end of the internship, but, uh, you, you know, I, I live in a world of me. <laughs> you know, honestly, right, is my world, and I'm, I'm shaping my world, you know? And so I came into the organization. I was like, man, this is pretty nice. They value family. Uh, there's a good work-life balance, you know, the hybrid work solution was awesome. Uh, the way they kept us engaged as interns was awesome in just learning more about the bank. Uh, you know, a lot of the uh, just opportunities that we had to sit in on meetings and actually have meaningful interactions with leaders in the business. And as a governance and risk analyst, I was able to form relationships across the bank. You know, so it was a blessing that I was able to obtain an internship at a bank for information security governance. It exposed me to a lot of different frameworks. You know, uh, you, you hear a lot about NIST, National Institute for Standards and Technology, and the CSF framework. Uh, but there's so much more to just knowing NIST CSF, right? I mean, are you in 883, 853, all that stuff? You know, uh, but the whole point is that we learned how to gather information from assessments and apply those and create solutions for the business to move forward and continue to build this cybersecurity maturity. 
So with that being said, you know, um, I think I did well at the presentation of informing everyone in the executive suite about information security and how it's important to act first. But uh, that wasn't quite the venue. But guess what? They learned it. And this is how I live my life. <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> and and uh, it's just got to be this way, you know, like so the way one of um, the gentlemen that gave me some feedback uh, put it is that I gave so much information that they know if someone asked me a question that I would dive into the details and they might not be able to understand it. They might not be able to receive all that information, but if they could go to someone else that can summarize what I said, that person would then be more valuable to an organization, right? So um, I've got to learn that because I come from a technical background and an electrical, mechanical, you know, uh, aspect from the wind field, and I'm just used to speaking geek, you know, and so that's part of it, you know, and, and even though information security governance and risk is not really uh, very technical, from the computer science aspect, right? Is is tech is technical in the aspect of uh, risk management, you know. So I geek out on risk management. I've literally been doing it for the past thirteen years. As I review my resume, doing QA, QC, and air traffic control, like I see risk and I manage it. I, rid- I mitigate it either by instructions or written policies and procedures, it's some kind of strategy, right? And that's exactly what InfoSec is. So I've truly found my passion. <laughs> I just regurgitated my passion on the audience. Some didn't appreciate it, but you know what? Most of them did appreciate it. And guess what? If you need to know about information security, you're going to holler at your boy, period. I don't care who you think that you can gather the information from. You know that I'm that guy, right? So the thing is, I still have this strong affinity for wind turbines, and I'm an outside guy. So, uh, you know, coming to the end of this internship, you know, I, I still have to keep the lights on you know what i mean so i figured that basically you know i can get back to uh you know doing my work on the road with the wind turbines there's some ge projects i can hop on and you know get back into the field and do what i do uh i was really trying to make it a full go here at home you know but i'm blessed in, in the fact that i have seven years in the wind energy uh industry and i have a good name out there that i can rely on and i have good connections that i can go out there and do good work and uh, make good money and, you know, uh, do great things, you know. So it's, it's me trying to bend the universe to my will that I want to be a cybersecurity expert right now. But I see this vision in my head that I'm going to be a cybersecurity expert in the wind ender- energy field, right? So... I know it's a very small segment, but once I find my niche and I become the expert in that, then I become the guy. So a lot of people may not see the organization and the chaos and confusion that I got going on, but I see it. The whole point is that I know transformation takes 18 months and I'm in month nine. So that's it for everyone that I haven't been posting on LinkedIn as often. uh, This is a lot easier for me to talk. So I'll get the videos better, right? But uh, that was just my summary right here from the Capstone presentation. And if you want to hear more about my journey moving into cybersecurity and, uh, you know, just living the dream and building the life that you want to have, go ahead and click on the subscribe below. Share this with a friend that you think may be interested in this. You know, click the bell so you can get alerts when I pop them up. I'm going to pop up at least one video a week. We want to commit to that. All right. So until then, y'all be easy and remember to keep making clouds.